it is a game of consistency and commitment to it, right? And it, whether it's digital or print or any other medium, right? It doesn't matter. A lot of people oftentimes, they, they send out one firecracker, right? One bottle rocket and go, well, that wasn't very spectacular. And then, you know, they're, they're disappointed and they, and they reset. They're not consistent with what might work in the long run. I think everyone's looking for the one size fits all or the one solution in marketing. So we're gonna to talk today about what all you need to be doing in marketing and what some of the most important techniques are for growing your business. So I'm Steven Taylor and I refuse to live a mediocre life. Uh, for the last 10 years, I've been building a successful cybersecurity IT support company here in Chicagoland. And I'm always shifting things in my life, uh, trying to one up myself and, and really find my own version of success and happiness. People are saying, you know, how do I grow my business? How do I market? How do I do all this stuff? It continues to be asked, right? The question continues to be asked. And I think the first and foremost, the easiest way and the most successful way for most and the most straightforward answer is referrals, right? But referrals are do good work and wait for someone to refer you. So it's not really a sustainable or a consistent source of leads until you treat it like a marketing campaign, right? And so when we talk about our referrals, it's a marketing campaign that we've developed. We are signing a new client, onboarding them, and when, within the first 60 days, then we go back to them at a set period of time and say, hey, Mr. Customer, can you, A, is everything going right? And then when they say yes, right? Can you give us a five-star Google review? And who do you know who could benefit from our services? Give us some names, right? And you could go the classic like Kirby vacuum cleaner sales guy, right? Hey Susie, I'll give you a hundred dollar discount if you can give me three of your friends who I can go see. Uh, and, and we also do, we kind of incentivize the referral, right? So we give $500 to a, a person who gives us that referral and then that deal closes, right? So it's pretty stiff, but we know we're going to get a deal out of it. And so that kind of works for us. And this referral campaign is published and marketed everywhere, right? So it's in our, in, at the bottom of our invoice, you know, refer a friend. We do an email campaign maybe once a quarter. It's on our newsletter all the time. And so we're constantly addressing and letting people know, hey, we've got this refer a friend program and we'll give you $500. And the referrals then are a little bit more consistent. They're not always at the same level every month, but they're definitely a lot more consistent. And that does feed probably, you know, 40 or 50% of the leads that we get are from referrals. And again, you have to do good work so that people love you and then they're gonna refer to you. But certainly this can't be the only campaign or system and you can't just hurry up and wait for this stuff. You've gotta develop other marketing wells where you're getting leads consistently from. And again, it's gonna ebb and flow. And everybody, I think everyone's always looking for, well, what's the one, you know, campaign or what's, what's one, you know, whether it's digital or whatever they're looking for. Do I use Facebook? Do I use LinkedIn? Do I send some emails? All of them can work. All of them can be successful, but you have to figure out how to make them successful and things will change. In our industry, AdWords for the longest time was super successful for the people that were doing it. Well, now that everyone's doing it and the expense is so high, it's a very competitive and a very challenging place to win with Google AdWords in the IT industry. But that, that's not to say that people aren't winning with it anyway, right? You've got to spin up all these different campaigns and go with what you're more comfortable with and just figure some stuff out. So maybe it's Google AdWords, maybe it's some Facebook ads, maybe it's just using social media and putting content out and setting yourself up where people are going, wow, this place really knows what they're talking about. Wow, this John, he really knows what he's talking about, right? And in all of these things, it's about consistency. For six to 12 to 18 months, you're not gonna see anything, right? Zeros, no views, no likes, no, no leads, right? But you have to keep doing this stuff because eventually the snowball will start to build. People will, okay, wow, this place, they're still in business. Wow, they're still marketing, wow. And we're ready to have a dialogue, right? They've seen your face long enough that they go, I think this place knows what they're doing and 
our needs have changed, we're ready to buy. The buying cycle in IT is something like three to five years, right? So if you're not sticking with any of the marketing campaigns that you build, it's not gonna be effective, it's not gonna be useful. And so again, pick something you like. Well, I wanna do Facebook. Okay, dive in, build it up, get it 80% of the way there, and then be consistent with it. Then continue to watch your numbers and adjust accordingly, all right? The posting on Tuesday of this kind of video with these hashtags worked, but posting on Friday when nobody's paying attention to Facebook didn't work, adjust, right? And always be monitoring and watching the numbers, not so much for the likes or the views or all that stuff, but the results, right? The impact, comments, people talking about it, whether digitally or in real life, right? And then as you spin up all of these different marketing wells, you continue to adjust them, you continue to tweak them, and you divert resources and time and money into the ones that are really successful, right? Like I said, AdWords was super successful for so long for so many of us, it isn't as much today, and so we adjusted a lot of our resources into digital and content marketing and education, right? Giving away the soup for free, so to speak, so that people go, wow, this place knows what they're talking about and our needs have changed, it's time to have a conversation. And a lot of people say, oh, you can't cold call. Oh, you know, that's never gonna work. The the direct mail marketing piece is stupid. It's like, well, no, it works. So we keep, you know, upping what we do. We we're sending 25 a week. Now we're trying to send 100 a week, right? And we just keep ramping it up because it works. But it'll change, right? Eventually, you know, people stop answering the phone or something will change and it won't be as successful. And so that's why we have to have kind of all these different spinning plates. And then we go kind of, you know, we're fishing in the different, uh, you know, ponds, so to speak, and, and you've got to adjust. So we send uh, a print newsletter out every single month to almost 2,000 names now, I believe, and that's clients and prospects. We're sending these direct mail pieces, about 100 a week with follow-up phone calls afterwards to set appointments. Uh, obviously, you see a lot of the social media stuff, a lot of content marketing, just putting, you know, how do, we, how do you do this stuff? What is good cybersecurity? What is good IT support? All of that, you know, through all the usual channels, Facebook, uh, LinkedIn primarily, but also YouTube and, um, and Instagram. We send out email blasts probably every single week. Again, some to clients, some to prospects, sometimes the same to both. Uh, and so it's all of these different plates. We, we do still do a little bit of Google AdWords. Uh, we're starting to try Facebook and LinkedIn ads uh, and even LinkedIn messaging, right? Just dropping some information to somebody who you think might be a good prospect. And it's all of these diff different things running simultaneously and then trying to improve or one-up them every single time. I mean, if it really goes bad and you're spending good money on it, you might completely reset, push that pause button and say, all right, I've got to really adjust this. But for the most part, you know, any of the freebie ones or the, or the, affordable ones just keep doing it you know again in our industry the buying cycle is so long you know three to five years it's a timing thing and if you stop marketing to that one person for six months or that one year that they're then ready to buy you're gonna miss the boat you've got to stay top of mind you've got to stay in front of them and quite often you know calls will come in and say yeah we've had your newsletter on our desk for the last you know six months and now we're looking and saying hey you know we've got to change something so consistency because of that that timing. I think everyone gives up too early, right? It, it is a game of consistency and commitment to it, right? And it, whether it's digital or print or any other medium, right? It doesn't matter. A lot of people oftentimes, they, they send out one firecracker, right? One bottle rocket and go, well, that wasn't very spectacular. And then, you know, they're, they're disappointed and they, and they reset. They're not consistent with what might work in the long run, right? And it's a lot of it, again, is just figuring out how to make it work. Like be determined and say, I'm going to get three leads a month out of this and take the next six to 12 months to figure out how to do it and make it successful, right? I don't think there's any marketing campaign that can't be turned into a success successful one if you're committed and you are consistent, right? But I think again, everyone just sends that bottle rocket and expects, you know, a true fireworks show and they're not going to get it. I'm curious what marketing campaigns are working for you right now and then how you might plan to really double down on your referral marketing campaign because that has classically been a great source of new leads and revenue for most of us in the IT industry. So give us a like and a subscribe. We'll see you next week and uh, leave a comment below to that.